Cash toll lanes on the four Delaware River Port Authority bridges will reopen Monday, but drivers will see some changes as they go through the toll booth because of COVID-19. Alexandria Hoff explains. It's one thing to approach a toll with $5 in your hand. It's another thing to get a bill for 40 or 50 bucks. Feedback from customers concerned over their rising toll tab is one of the reasons why the Delaware River Port Authority decided to reintroduce cash lanes on its four bridges starting 6 a.m. Monday. This cashless approach was always temporary for us. In late March, cash lanes on the Betsy Ross, Ben Franklin, Walt Whitman, and Commodore Berry bridges closed in an effort to reduce COVID-19 exposure. But the DRPA says its system isn't geared for all cashless tolling. The drivers without Easy Pass accounts were promised a bill in the mail, yet drivers haven't seen those yet. And officials say it's because the outside agency handling the building is dealing with a backlog. The invoices just went out yesterday, started to go out yesterday, and we estimate it's going to take uh, seven or eight days for them to clear up the backlog. The Port Authority has also noted an uptick in bridge traffic and expects that to continue as COVID restrictions are eased. Still, only half the usual number of cash lanes will be open and in operation on Monday, and new precautions will be in place. Our collectors are going to be wearing masks and gloves. There'll be plexiglass shields in place in the toll booths between the operator and uh, the motorist. They are strongly encouraging drivers to wear a face covering as well if they are utilizing a cash toll. According to the Port Authority, about 30% of their customers only use cash. Alexandria Hoff, CBS3 Eyewitness News.